Hey guys, this is Oracle Daphne doing your mid-October video for everyone with their sun, moon, or ascendant in Cancer, okay? So that's what I am doing um, this video is for all people who have their sun, moon, and ascendant in Cancer. And uh, thank you guys for your patience for this video. Uh, as you guys know, my schedule's been wild. My daily videos are not exactly on time, but I try. And, um... It's funny because right before I did my video, what was coming to me in my mind was, I just put my glasses on, um, was that part in Back to the Future where Doc says, where I'm going, I don't need roads. You know, he puts the glasses on. And that's what you need to do, Cancer. You need to adopt that attitude. Nothing's going to get to you. You know, things are good. Be happy. And, and move on from a relationship that's, that's holding you back. Any relationship. That could be, you know, friendship. That could be parent-child relationship. That could be, um, you know, husband and wife relationship. A anything. Boyfriend, girlfriend. You know, you need to have that attitude, Cancer. You need to toughen up a little bit and be like, you know what? Screw you. Where I'm going, I don't need roads, you know? Put the glasses on, give everybody the finger, and then leave. That's what you need to do. Instead of being like, more like, oh, what was me? You know, oh, you know, you don't want to do that. You want to be tough. If you need to get a motorcycle jacket, do it. You know? I don't know if I have a motorcycle jacket here. I don't think so. I had a motor, I think it's packed. I had this motorcycle. I have this motorcycle jacket that I got when I lived in Chicago, and it is an awesome jacket. It really is. Uh, it's real leather. You need to get. You need to get some tough girl stuff. You need some tough girl boots. You get some. Um, you know, just. You know, combat boots. You know, like these are my. These are like my day. They're really worn out. These are like my daily boots. Get some combat boots. You know, cancer, you need to toughen up. So you need to get some combat boots. You need to get, like, a motorcycle jacket, some spike, you know, you're thinking, like, a spike collar, something something that really gives people the impression that you're, like, a little bit more aggressive than you are, okay, and less less sensitive. You know, we got to work on your shell, basically, is what I'm saying. Okay, so I'm going to roll out the um, cards for you here. Alright, so it's funny because um, you guys have, okay, so what I've been doing is I've been skipping around in my spread, not necessarily starting at the beginning, but kind of going to what's um, coming to me first, and what's coming to me first is, right now, energy is like you need to be social, if you're not social cancer, it's time for you to go out, okay? And I feel I say that with love, okay? I'm not saying that not all... I mean, some cancers are very social, but... You think about a cancer, it has its hole and it loves its home. And it's just... It likes to be at home. So you just need to... You need to have more girlfriends. You need to have more girl time. You need to have girls' night out, okay? That's what you're either doing right now or not doing. And if you're not doing it, then it's time to do it, Okay? Um, I'm being a little bit harsher to you today, Cancers, not because I don't love you, just because I'm encouraging you, I'm giving that boost, that push of energy, that effort to help you to be the best that you can be, basically. Uh, and what's crossing you is interesting that I was saying that before about the divorce. It's like you're weighing things, you're thinking about divorce. A lot of people right now, a lot of people right now are moving. A lot of people are divorcing. A lot of people are breaking up. And this is a strange energy right now of the times. You know, it's not necessarily a time to get married. Those of you who have gotten married, you know, power to you. I mean, you pushed through the energy and you did it. And I'm sure that you have a very strong relationship. But for the rest of everybody else, this energy is not about marriage, you know, really a good marriage. This is about, at the time, you basically come through a time of divorcing. It's interesting that you have these two together. 
So it's like you're social, but at the same time you're weighing something. It's like it's like you have this really light energy, but you've also got this really heavy energy. It's like you've got the... It's like, I don't know, you could have some daughters um, that you're spending more time with. You could have some girlfriends that you're spending more time with. At the same time, the shackles, you're still shackled. You've got the ball and chain that reminds you you've got the ball and chain. Or at times you just you just remember, oh, that by the way, you know, that's right, I'm married, you know, and, and I don't want to be married anymore, you know. Um, I'm feeling like I'm getting like some of you cancer women have actually better relationships with other women than you do with men. This may be very true because cancer energy is very feminine and... Um, and I feel like cancer women are like super uber sensitive and it doesn't really go very well with masculine energy. It just doesn't. Um, it's very difficult. Very, very difficult. Cancers are like the, have a lot of mother energy naturally. So unless a guy is like, wants to have that kind of energy in a relationship or in a partnership, it's going to be very difficult for him to even, like, be able to have the relationship with the cancer. Um, that's very interesting cards. Um, you got this um, fire energy, too. You may have, like, a combination of, like, Cancer Moon, Sag Ascendant, um... I don't know, some kind of combination or a Sagittarius moon or something. I'm not sure. Um, but there's some fire energy that's going on right now in your household. It could be that one of your kids, if you have kids, um, is sort of more difficult than the others. Um, it could be that you have siblings and you're, one of the siblings is causing problems with you. You know, you're fighting with them. It could be just that there's some, like, competition. The word competition is coming to my mind. Either in your household, in the family, some way. It could also be that you're just making your mark. For some of you, it's just about making your mark in the world. And maybe you're finally getting to that point. And so you're kind of, like, weighing things and which direction you want to take and what you want to do. And this is, this is actually quite an interesting time for you. Um, in the past, you've needed to get some rest. You needed to take a break. You needed to go away on vacation. You needed to just, like, calm your mind. Um, what's crowning you is this you pick plucking of the fruit energy. You know, this is fertility. This is sexuality. This is, um, timing. Timing is very, it's interesting the universal timing things happen in their own time right in their own in their own in the way that they're supposed to happen so right now it's sort of like you've got this timing thing with this i feel like it's time for you to get a divorce i've said this before and i'll say this again it's time for you to break up with whoever the relationship that you're in cancers need to do this because cancers cling on forever to the end of time they will cling on with those pinchers you know you gotta you gotta let it go um, this could also be this could also be a combination of where you need to you need to do two things you need to get better sleep and you need to eat better this to me is the fruits and vegetables card so you need to just you need to take care of yourself you're not taking care of yourself as you should maybe you're eating but you're eating crap food you know you're picking out on on pizza and pasta and, and, and comfort food. Cancers love comfort food. Cancers are like, I feel like they're like the macaroni and cheese capital of the signs, <laughs> you know? They they love comfort food. I don't know why. Macaroni and cheese comes to my mind. Some of you are probably just like having way too much mac and cheese. <laughs> I feel like somebody's going to be watching this and they're going to be like, oh my gosh, that's me. You're eating like mac and cheese like every single day. Guys, you need to like change it up. You need to seriously get some, 
get some vegetables, get some fruit, go to the grocery store, go to the fruit section, load up, you know, get some kale, get some Swisher. Oh, by the way, guys, I am going to be doing a video, I'm not sure when, on how, it's going to be a cooking video, how to make greens, okay, how, basics, the basics. And the next thing you know, Jamie Oliver is going to be contacting me, offering me a million dollar contract. <laughs> that would be awesome. Wouldn't it be awesome? I'd love that. Um, actually, but then it would take away from my clients, and my clients love me and they need me, so I don't know if that would happen, but still, that would be cool. Um, and, and it's funny because we're talking about cancers here, and what's right around the corner is the hermit, right? And you think about the hermit crab, and this is just so classic. You guys, you guys need to get out of your shell, okay? Some of you want to like crawl into the hole and go into the man cave and be like away from from society. But this is not the time for it. The time is the hermit crab needs to come out. It's time for the hermit crab to come out. The hermit crab is um, needs to see daylight. You need to get more sunshine. You're working too much inside and you're not going outside enough. Um, and then also, um, your emotions, where your emotions are at, the position your emotions are at, is like your chain. It's like emotionally you're, you're in the torture chamber. You're getting tortured by somebody else. And this is a Capricorn, this is an Aries, um... Give me maybe a Taurus person. Although Tauruses don't usually do this. Tauruses can be controlling, but but I feel like it's more like an Aries or a Capricorn man. But you're in uh, Cancer ladies, and if um, you know this is for guys, you know what? This could be it. Could be a guy in this in this picture, but. That's trapped too. You could, you could be a guy. Could be two guys, but most likely it's a guy and a girl. Okay, um, and I see it like you're in a relationship with somebody. It could be two girls, but your relationship with somebody that's just really eating you alive. They're, they're controlling you at every move. It's like you're uh, emotionally like they're like they're the puppeteer, right? And they know exactly what to say you know, to, to, to make you upset. They know exactly what to say to make you happy. A lot of cancers have, like, emotional reactions to things in the same way. So it's like, you tell a cancer, if you say something to a cancer, you know how a cancer is going to react because they don't really change in that way. They have emotional responses to things, and they're very, they're almost emotionally immature. They're like children, you know what I'm saying? They're kind of more like children, you know, they have emotional reactions. So somebody is really emotionally torturing you, Cancer, you know. Um, I'm sorry to see this in this position. It is not good. It is probably why you're thinking about divorce. Or you're thinking about breaking up. If you're not in a marriage, you're thinking about breaking up. And what's coming to you from the outside, actually I just talked about this in my last video, is this achievement and victory card. Sitting on top of the mountain. Sitting on top of the world. And having it all. <sighs> And you're going to be like, well, how is that possible? Well, that's what the universe wants for you. Now is the time to maybe think about doing something more um, career-wise. Maybe you've been working at home for a long time, or maybe, you know, you've been a mom for a long time, or maybe, you know, you've been in the same career for a long time. But it's time for you to think more about career. Cancers, I think, think more about their home and the family and less about the career and I think it's time for you to think about doing something with career. It could be also investing. Um, cancers are like really good penny pinchers. So anything financial, anything with real estate would be good for you guys. Because you'll be able to manage money. I feel like some, some of you kind of need to do some more like financial advising. I think that would be, be good for you. Um, generally, I don't advise working at banks. It's very stressful. But you may actually do very well if you worked in a bank. Um... And then this is what we also, another card that we got for another sign, which is, this is your attitude. And it's weird because your attitude is, I don't see this as it being a cancer person. 
I see this as being like a Capricorn, a Taurus, an Aries, uh, man or woman who's in your life. It's like, it could be that you have someone in your life that walks all over you. That's what it is. It's like you're in danger of being trampled. Like, somebody is seriously accusing you as like their doormat, you know? Literally like their doormat. It could be a Leo, too, that's just really aggressive that's in your life that you're thinking about that's just really, really aggressive. And they they don't treat you right. That's my feeling. They don't treat you right. It's just they're overconfident, they have an aggressive nature, they they're craving adventure, and they're they cause a lot of conflict in your life. Um, and they they really, really trample all over you. That's what I'm feeling. Now the interesting thing is you got the outcome is the Empress. And to me, this is the summer fairy. This is someone who is beautiful, who has abundance, who tends to her garden, who tends to her family, who tends to her pets. Um, it is having the power to achieve your heart's desire. In, in using your artistic creativity, you're just using your creativity to change things for the better. So you have really, like, I feel like emotionally it's a sucky time for you. But I feel like once you get out of this relationship, I feel like the doors are really going to open for you. Um, and you have more, you, ha you will have the power to achieve what it is that you want. Um, I feel like you need to get creative. Cancers can be very creative. They can be good with their hands. They go with the sewing and the knitting and like, you know, material stuff. And they're just the, the attention to detail. And it's just, there's an emotional quality to what they do. I feel like some of you need to do more quilting, you know. Um, you know, just like the delicate details. Because it's a very feminine, you know, more feminine stuff. Um, not to say that guys can't sew, because they do. I mean... My dad's a dentist, and he's great at sewing. I mean, he can sew, he suture up anything. I mean, it's the best. But I feel like for cancers, it's cancer women, I just feel like you need to create, like you need to have like a quilting circle or like a sewing circle or something like that with other ladies in your life. Because um, this is someone who is going to seriously create something amazing you need to have a project cancer that you need to work on work towards um that's gonna help you to utilize your creative creativity and your feminine intuition and um, this could even be you know someone that's using her her um, psychic intuition too And I, I usually say this to people, but I, I haven't been recently in my videos. You need to have roses around you, Cancer. It's very important. Roses will purify your environment. Um, you really need to do it. Um, they're just, there's a certain element, there's a certain purity about them that that's really good for you. Um, and that's all that I'm really seeing for right now for you guys. It's an interesting time. Um, for everyone, but um, I hope that I give you some some food for thought. I always call my stuff food for thought, and um, I wish you all the best. I send you big hugs and big kisses, and I will talk to you guys again soon. Uh, if you want to do a private reading, feel free to email me at elizabetholson31 at gmail.com. And I'd love to do a private reading for you. I still have some times available for this week. Um, and I wish you all the best. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.